everyone and you're welcome back. In our last lesson we discussed about tiles and tile maps and how you can take advantage of tools like LDTK and Tiled to create your tile assets. Next, what I'm going to do is to show you another software called Asprite. This is a paid software, but you can actually use Asprite to create tiles as well as a tool. Other software you can use to create your own custom tiles and tile maps. You could actually use GIMP or you could use Photoshop. So uh, this is Asprite. I'll just give you a quick example of a small artwork uh, tile map I created using uh, Asprite. So just this is just by the side and show you that you can use this software to create your own tiles and art assets in case you want to create your own custom or edit assets as well. GDevelop has a built-in tool that you can use to edit your artwork when they come in. For instance, let's say you want to add a new object and we click on Sprite. You can cl only click on Add Animation. You can click Create with Pishkel. So Pishkel is also a built-in tool into GDevelop you can use to create your own art assets in case you don't want to pay for any kind of like a software for building art. Pishkel is very important and it's interesting because we can use it to create very simple placeholders using uh, this tool in GDevelop without having to use or rely on any external software. So with that uh, put by the way, let's go ahead and see how we can uh, install uh, tiled. So to get tiled, you need to go to mapeditor.org and slash download, and you can actually see the uh, download button. So click on the download button. Now you can actually contribute to the creator, which is quite uh, interesting and important to just drop in a few buck because they're creating professional tools for free at no cost so you can support the developer if you want to but if that's not your thing and you're not ready to yet you can click on no thanks just take me to the downloads and you can select the software for your specific operating system i'm using windows and i'm using a 64-bit windows tool so I, you can just click on download the version 1.9 dot two and once you click on that download you can always follow the prompt and install the software so uh, let me just go ahead and jump over to my uh, downloads where i have so here we can actually see tiled for windows so you just right click and or you can just uh, click open and this should open up the Windows installer and welcome you to the tile setup. Just click next and you can actually uh, click on the prompt and install this on your computer. Uh, I'm, I'm going to cancel this because I already have it installed and when you're done you can always click on the Windows start button and type in tiled and this should bring up the tiled app to easily or quickly have access to tiled if you right click you could say a uh, pin to taskbar so that you can easily have the software on your taskbar and you can just click it to pop it up. So that's the quick and easy way to set this up. Next, if you want to use LDTK as well, you head over to LDTK.io and click on download just like we uh, did with Tiled. And again, you can also drop in a few bucks for the uh, creator but if uh, you're not ready yet you, and you can specify any amount you can even give one dollar you know or give a fraction of a dollar you know any amount you feel you can give the creator just to you know um, support their cause you can set zero or just say no thanks just take me to the download and you can download the uh, os version and the windows version as well and when you're done with your downloads you should see I'll just head over to my downloads folder and we can actually see the uh, okay I have this under game dev software and we can actually see LDTK I think I have it somewhere sorry guys but I have LDTK uh, somewhere else I have it installed so once you right click install the software like we did you can always find it when you type in LDTK you can actually see your app and you can also set that on your taskbar such that you can easily click on LDTK to have that available as well. So with that, in our next few uh, set of lessons, 
we're going to see how we can work with the tile map uh, with tile to see how we can build a simple level which is going to be the same size as our screen size something very basic to get us up and running and then we can see how we can export this and bring it into our uh, G develop and begin to add those platforms the player can walk on and next we'll actually begin to code and use our uh, event sheet because our event sheet is really waiting for us to begin coding visually coding thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next lesson